Hello, Internet. I'm Random Meow, and I'm pooped. This past weekend was Phoenix Fan Fusion. Yay! I didn't get any video because I'm bad at this, but I did manage to get some awesome blind boxes, all while meeting some amazing people and seeing some amazing things. If you get a chance to visit a comic convention, I thoroughly recommend it. Just, you know, make sure you wear comfortable shoes. Learn from my mistakes. Now then, let's take a look at what I got this year. First up, I got these two adorable Korean Pokeballs in colors that are definitely not official. I, There are yellow Pokeballs, but I, there's no brown, so I have no idea what they're doing with that. But what's interesting is that they say they're for X and Y, but the copyright says it's from 1997. So who knows if these are actually official? They've got a lot of official anime art on it. So let's open these. Ta-da! They look like cue balls. Nice. So, first up, the yellow one. It's... Oh, we've got a paper. Here's what the paper looks like. Cute, cute. Oh, we've got a chance for some pretty adorable Pokemon. We got... Ah, it's a Pancham! It's got a suction cup! Oh, hang on. Achoo! I'm sure that sounds wonderful. It's got a little suction cup. Amazing. Oh, I had no idea what I was getting into. I thought these were going to be like phone charms. I've got a cute little Axie phone charm. Nope. We got ourselves some standees. All right. Brown one. Is it the same set? I'm assuming it's the same set. Yeah, same set. Oh, it's not even in a bag. It's a bundle bee. Oh, dear. So there we go. <laughs> if you ever see the weirdly off-color Pokeballs from Korea, this is what you're getting, little suction cup friends. Next up, let's take a look at this one. This should be the first box of the Remint collections. They are adorable. I had to get a bunch of them. You get these little terrariums of the different Pokemon inside. We've got Pikachu, Lapras, Cabagon, or Snorlax, Bulbasaur, Dragonair, or Eevee. Yeah. Inside we've got Oh <gasps> yes! The best one! Uh it's a winner. Oh no. <laughs> Please open. It looks like we've got a Lapras, I hope. <gasps> Yay! Okay, let's put that together really quick. So here we are. This is what it ends up looking like. Oh, he fell out of his little thing. There we go. He's got like a little thing to sit on, but nothing to snap into. And the bottom has like little seaweeds you can put into the thing, but nothing to hold it down. That's okay. I still really love this. Yay, Lapras! Dude, stay in your thing. Next up, we've got Terrarium Collection number two, this time featuring Togepi and Pikachu, Squirtle, Charizard, or Lizardon. On the side, we've got Psyduck, Poliwag, Sandshrew, and Cubone. And the best whatever, which I hope we really get, Articuno. Ta-da! So here is our terrarium collection. Hey, light. Go that way. Oh no, that's like a majority of our light. There we go. So this is what it looks like. It's the ground duo, Sanchu and Cubone. Oh, that's kind of cute. There's a little bit of water in the back that they don't show in the picture. It's actually quite well made. It's very heavy, which is surprising. But the weird thing is, no one's actually like glued down or clipped into anything, so it's just gonna make a mess. A warning for any future owners. Next up, Terrarium Collection 4. I saw three, I didn't realize they were numbered until it was too late. But Terrarium Collection number four comes with Gengar, Totodile, Moltres, Slowpoke with a chance to be a slow bro, Pikachu on a sheep, and Umbreon. If you're curious, I've been kind of doing these off camera just because it takes a little while to assemble them. This is what you get when you get one of these. You get a little flat pack of all of the pieces individually wrapped. So, yeah. Ta-da! Here is Umbreon and all of its tiny fussy pieces. I will say, this is probably one of the neater looking terrariums, but also one of the fussier ones. Like Umbreon, barely stays in place. All these little flowers come in two pieces, so it's very easy to lose something. There's also this flower back here that's loose, and yeah. It would be fine if the lid snapped, 
but it doesn't. So yay. If you are getting one of these, just be ready. If you have a cat or a child or a dog, these are going to fall over. So be ready for that. Last but not least, we've got the Floral Cup Collection. I could not resist this one with Pikachu, Eevee, Dugong, Ivysaur, Vulpix, and Mew. Like, no matter what, this one's a winner. Inside we got an Ivysaur. Again, you get a lot of stuff with this, so if you're not ready for that, be ready for that. Ta-da! Here's Ivysaur, a cup of cute. Oh, I love this. Although I will say I'm quite peeved that nothing snaps together. It's just a tiny teacup set with an amazing little figure in it, which is actually really cute looking. You don't get a lot of really good Ivysaur figures. So on one hand, it's adorable. On the other, it's not stable. So again, be careful where you put this. There you have it, the six blind boxes I got at Phoenix Fan Fusion. I love them, except for the little ones. Those are kind of weird, but the big ones are beautiful. I love them. And they'll probably be making another appearance in the future if I find any products that feature these very specific Pokemon. Who knows? Who knows? If you've been playing Pokemon Go lately, you'll probably know why we're opening this. For whatever wonderful reason, Poco has decided to swarm Snorlaxes all over the map, but in a sleeping position. There's no need for a poke flute while you try to catch the supine Snorlax. New word for the day! Inside this box you get a promo Snorlax from the Evolution set, a Snorlax GX card ready to crush your dreams and your spleen from the outside, a giant Snorlax GX card with similar intentions, and four booster packs, one Fates Collide, one Breakthrough, and two Evolutions. After last week, I can't exactly complain about Evolutions being in the box. I also can't complain because the set was specifically released for Evolutions. So let's just grin and bear it, unless there's more garbage rares like Beedrill or Raticate. Every time I get an EX card, I will be giving out a spare code. I'll be going newest to oldest as you see here. I've got my sleeves at the ready. Let's start things off with pack number one, Raichu and Evolutions. Mm, please give us a GX card. I want to give out all the codes. Alright, they won't be GX. They'll, ah, they'll be EX still, I think? Like, Snorlax is GX, but it was released after Sun and Moon? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything. We're starting things off, though, with a Voltorb. Let's lock in the focus. Ooh, that got really bright. Oh, that's super bright. Hang on, let's try that again. And lock on the focus. Let's bring it down a little bit. Voltorb! Charmander! So cute. Diglett. Ghastly. Caterpie. Reverse Hollow Polywhirl. Oh, damn it! Slowbro Spirit Link. Revive. And another Polywhirl. I can't find the Beedrill, so let's admire the cute Charmander. So cute! Pack number two, it's more evolutions, this time with Charizard. Man, Beedrill makes me so angry now. Even when he's not in for evolutions, if it's in a different set, it still makes me weirdly angry. Uh, I've got issues. But, just in case we don't get anything good, I'll at least give one. Starting it off with a Vulpix. Super cute. Dark energy. Magikarp. Weedle. Electabuzz. Shiny electric energy, that's not a good sign. Oh my god. Hey, it's not horrible. It's not great, but it's a chancy and it's holographic. I like the hologram in the back. That's actually quite nice. It's got a nice depth to it. Yay, more Poliwhirl. What the crap? Charizard Spirit Link and a Charmeleon. Cute and awkward chancy is protected. Woo. Pack number three, it's Fates Collide with the cute fox switch that I can't remember the name of. Ooh, this is opening beautifully. Beautifully, I tell you. Starting things off with a deerling. Sniffy! Jigglypuff and his friends. Fennekin with more friends. Snubble being trouble. Reverse Hollow Zygarde, nice. <laughs> wow. It's not holographic, but it is definitely new. I have not seen this before. It's Grumpig and Explode, putting on a show for everyone. What's with the spoons? Oh, he's playing the spoons. Good grief, that's adorable. Moving on. Ammonite, Lass is special, and a Wigglytuff. 
That guard and Grumpig are both protected. You know, I really thought he was playing spoons, but that's actually like a weird puff coming out of his hand and a trick of the light. I have no idea what the heck is going on here. If you understand what's happening, please explain it to me. I don't get it. Pack number four, it's Breakthrough! Hello, doggo. Yeah, I don't know what the heck is going on. It's like he's giving some sort of crazy concert and people are cheering for him with spoons, which is kind of morbid that he's a pig. Like, that's, that's kind of messed up, you. Starting things off with a skid door. So cute! Miss Drevious. I like that. That's pretty. So cute! Oh, that's so cute! Flappepe! Axew! And some dragon fruit! Reverse Hollow Raichu. Oh, I love that one. That's actually in one of the uh, prefabricated decks. We'll take a look at that whenever I get to it. And a Flagress. It. Are you trying to seduce me? Super Rod. Braxian and Floet. Raichu and Flogress are both protected. I really love this Raichu art. It's probably one of my favorite card arts for Raichu. And Flogress is in fact trying to seduce you. We got a Beedrill, which should tell you just how thrilling these packs are. Hopefully our bonus pack will save us. Lovingly picked, randomly picked from the corral. All right. Uh... It's one of these, this one. I want this one. Yay, we got ourselves a team up. Thank you, lovely Corral. Woo! Bonus pack, it's team up with Gengar and Mimikyu. Oh, come on. Let's have a GX. Let's give the people a something. Eh. All right, we are starting things off with a Pharaoh Seed. Lock in our focus. Weep. Excellent. Pharaoh Seed taking a nap. Charmander yelling at his tail. Oh wait, no, he's not yelling at his tail. He's just threatening. My bad. Helioptile. Mankey. Opex. Reverse Hollow Larvitar. Neat. Aww. Womp womp. It's a Starmie. But a cute Starmie. Metal Energy. Nidorino. Dangerous Drill. Hiyo. And a... <laughs> That's amazing. And a Hitmonchan. Sarmi is protected. That's it for this week. I have to go figure out where to put all these cute toys now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have yourself a wonderful week. Bye! Oh god, this gum tastes awful. Ugh.